the island of Patmos, I'm going to speak about Revelation chapter 7. It was to this island the Apostle John was brought as a prisoner. He was in the exile during the persecution during the Emperor Domitian. He stayed for 18 months, then he was released and back to Ephesus. But this monastery was built in 1088 by the Patriarch Christodoulos. He built it to commemorate the life and the work of Apostle John, John the Theologian. This beautiful monastery was built like a fortress to protect themselves from the raids of the pirates who come from the sea. In chapter 7, before that we saw the retribution, the judgment, and the four riders on the horses. Then the responses of the martyrs by saying, avenge our blood. Then unbelievers hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne. Uh, here is a prophetic insert between the sixth seal and the seventh seal, which begins in chapter 8. Angels are associated with the, for, with the forces of nature, the wind, fire, and water. Stopping the wind implies God controls all of nature, the all four corners of the earth. In this chapter, it speaks about the sealed, redeemed people, the 144,000 people. Seal indicates ownership and protection. It means they are distinguished from others. It's God's guarantee that we are saved and preserved. And these were sealed during the Great Tribulation. Seal in Christianity in two ways. Seal at the baptism to seal your faith. And also when you get saved, you receive the Holy Spirit. That is the seal of ownership. Then we read about the great multitude from all nations. This is the church of Jews and Gentiles. In fact, John uses many phrases from Hebrew or from the Old Testament to explain spiritual truths, such as the temple, tabernacle, altar, Mount Zion. And here he uses the illustration of the 12 tribes. The 12 tribes, or the number 144,000, it's the number of perfection and completion. 12 times 12. That includes all the saints from the Old Testament and the New Testament. He is warning here that tribulation is coming. Believers will suffer and will go through it. But he will give also the promise of blessing specifically for the 144,000 uh, people. The number of completion and perfection as I mentioned. Now there are some questions about the 12 tribes in this chapter. For example, some names. Why Levi included when he had no inheritance among the tribes, as the Old Testament teaches? Why Joseph, not his son Ephraim, who is connected with Manasseh, who is mentioned in this list? Then what about Dan? Dan tribe is omitted here and included. He, is, he was included in the list of the temple which is mentioned in Ezekiel chapter 48 verse 1. But he was omitted here. Por probably and possibly because of his sin. That is Dan and Ephraim because of their sins and their backsliding. They were omitted. But also there is another interesting fact, Jewish tradition, they tell us that the Antichrist will come from the Dan tribe. And here also we see the glory of the martyrs from all nations. They are saved during the great tribulation and refused the mark of the beast. They were accepted because they were faithful before God's throne. They were joyful because they were singing praises and worshiping God. And they were rewarded and encouraged and blessed because they had the patience to go through the great tribulation and through the sufferings and the persecution. Their faith was tested, but they cleansed with the precious blood and covered and protected by the Lord Jesus. The imposing walls of an ancient monastery is the scene of our next Let There Be Light. 
as we look at the 8th chapter in the book of Revelation. Revelation. 